I'm going to demonstrate using FileZilla, a free SFTP client for OS X and Windows for interacting with the HPC group's Flux cluster. The use of the transfer host enables higher performance transfer, more reliable transfers, and the ability to be isolated from anything happening on a traditional login node. This enables very large transfers to happen over long periods of time, etc. The use of the transfer host requires the use of two-factor authentication. This two-factor is implemented by using the mToken system, a small keychain that has a randomly changing number on it. You will need this number to be able to connect to the cluster. These tokens can be available from the Entree office. You can just search for mToken on the UMish website and you should find the listing, shown here, of different places where you can receive an mToken. To use FileZilla, you can download it from filezilla-project.org. I've already installed it on my Mac here, and the instructions here will apply to the Windows version also. Start FileZilla. Because FileZilla interacts differently with systems that use two-factor authentication, you cannot use the Quick Connect by typing it here in the host box. To connect to Flux, you need to click the Open the Site Manager, click a New Site, and call this flux exfer and the host is flux exfer.engine.umich.edu change the protocol to SFTP and change the login type to interactive you can go ahead and type in your unique name here it doesn't let you change your password don't worry about that um, because it doesn't that's not actually taking the password so you can say OK and that will save it, but you can go and say connect instead. The first time you connect to Flux Expert, it's going to ask whether or not you want to trust this key. I would say always trust this host and if this key ever changes, you'll be notified and this is a possibility of a security problem. If so, you can contact flux-support at umich.edu to verify that everything is OK. Go ahead and click OK. Now it asks us for our password. And then it's going to ask us for our mToken passcode. So type in the number off of that keychain. And now it's going to show us the files on the cluster. FileZilla works in the same way as any other system. Uh, the left side is the files on my local Mac here. If you're on Windows, the names may be slightly different, but it works the same way. On the right side, we'll see, in this case, home brackp, which is my home directory. If I wanted to go to my no backup space, I would type in that. If I wanted to copy a given folder from one system to the other, I would just drag it. If I wanted to um, move just a single file, I would grab just that single file from down here and drag it to the other side. If I wanted to go from the cluster to my system, I would go the other way. Or you can use the upload and download commands. Questions should be directed to flux-support at umich.edu. FileZilla is already installed on the Kane Windows lab load as well as the ITS Windows lab load.